Titus 3 and 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts. So I said it was mentioned that we were deceived. So we, we believe what the world had to offer. We believe that the Lord was a so-called white man. Mm -hmm. And it was a place that if you didn't accept Jesus Christ, you're gonna burn for eternity. So we were deceived. That's right. And believing that the law is a so-called white man. Believing that we were African Americans <laughs> uh, rather than being Israelites. So we were all deceived. That's yeah. right. And pleasures living but, but in at one point. Um I was in college. But then my father just dropped out. And I said, fuck this shit. It, it's crazy because I said to myself, like, I when the market of beast come. This college degree ain't gonna mean nothing if you, ain't got, <laughs> if you, ain't, if you don't take the chip. And I don't plan on taking a chip. That's so right. I dropped out. Okay. It says, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. No, it says, living in malice. Now, the word malice means having a desire to do wickedness. And we was, we was, you know, some brothers came from gangs, you know, you know, beefing, doing nigga, nigga shit or nigga moments like you have in the boondocks. We came from that environment. So we picked up, we picked up on those things. Go ahead. But after that, but after that, go ahead. the kindness and love of the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. our Savior toward man appeared. Uh-huh. What's the kindness? Us coming into the faith. That's right. It said to our Lord Yahweh of the Most High, our Savior, toward men. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Not by works of righteousness. Not by works of righteousness. So it wasn't the Lord that that the Most High um, brung us mercy. Go ahead. But according to His mercy, because the faith faith came before the law. Go ahead. When you first come in, you're not gonna be keeping your bed and everything. You gotta you gotta build up. The, you gotta believe first. That's right. You know you, you, you're gonna be keeping something. You don't know why you're doing it. Yeah. It comes with faith. And then when that person built their faith, then you know, take it a step by step. That's it right. That shows it works. That shows it works. Go ahead. It says, not by works of righteousness which we have done. Because we go to the history, uh, when you have a child walk on the earth, they saw righteousness by the law rather than faith. And that was their biggest sin, not believing in your house So, go ahead. But according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. break it down. Yeah, so he saved us by the, the uh, regeneration and the washing of the Holy Spirit by the word, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get Ephesians uh, 2 and 8, mm -hmm. um, that's what it is. By we were sanctified by the washing of the word. Because that's how we was regenerated, man. That's how we was brought back to life. That's right. Through this word, through this knowledge. Okay? And that's why we praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We praise the Heavenly Father for sending back His Son. Because we was all niggas at one point, man. We didn't have instruction. Hold on. We, we didn't have discipline. Because when you come into this truth, you get instruction, you get discipline. We didn't have wisdom. You know, but this truth, it, it gave us all of those things. That's right. That we may operate and be wise into salvation. Uh, John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. There you go. It is the spirit that quicken it. What does the word quicken it mean? It means to make alive. That's right. Okay. So when we heard this word, that's when we was made alive. We came back to our true nationality. We came back to our true heritage. And, and, and now we know all things. All right? We know what's going to happen here to America. We know what's going to happen here to the wicked. And we and we also going to know what's going to happen in the kingdom to come. And that's what we hope for. That's what we anticipate for, man. Every day. That's right. Psalms uh, 71. And uh, let me start at uh, 20. It says, Thou which has shown me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Can you read that again, Bob? This is Psalm 71 and 20. Thou which has shown me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. There we go. It says, Thou which uh, gave me uh, great troubles, sore and great troubles, right? Because it was the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that put this hell and affliction upon us, man. That That's right. That brought us low, you know? 
Well, read, read on. It says, it says, Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. There you, and we're being, and we're being increased. Yep. We're being increased right now by the, by the knowledge of, of the scriptures, man. Yep. That's right. And, and soon we're going to be increased when, when Yahweh Shai comes back right. and we get those new bodies yep. and we, we can execute judgment upon the earth, man. That's right. That's and right. As rightful kings and priests, as, as we was created to do That's right. under our Lord and our Savior, man. That's right. Go on. Yep. It says, I will praise thee with the psaltery, even with the even thy truth. Yeah, I will praise thee with the psaltery, even with thy truth. And that's how we're praising the Heavenly Father. By this word, man, this truth. Yep. All right, get John 17 and 17. Thy words are truth. Yep. Okay. Yep. With on. my power unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou holy one of Israel. Oh, no, my gone. lips shall greatly oh, rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Right, and that's how they're going to be when we get saved, man. When we get saved, we're going to be singing, man. We're that's gonna be right. singing for the victory, man. The scriptures talk about in Revelations, the 15th chapter, how they sung the song of Moses. See, we're singing right now, you know, through through, through the word, the, the breakdown of the word, but we also going to be singing when we get the victory, man. That's right. When we get the victory over death, man. When we get the victory over this damn devil, man. That's and, and right. This beast system. That's right. And he said that he will, we, will, he will, we will praise him forever. And we will God. praise him forever because we will be living testimonies of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Lord willing, we are the elect. That's right. Got that? Yeah, John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Yes, yeah, and we are sanctified. The word sanctified means to be made pure. So it said, sanctify them through thy truth. And we're sanctified, we're made pure through the words of the Heavenly Father. And, and Yahweh Shai also said that thy words are true. All right? And that's how we know that we have the truth, man. And that's why we praise Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Because we finally have the understanding and, and, and uh, the understanding in the mysteries of, of the Most High that was hidden and from generations, man. We finally got it back, man. That's right. And, uh, and, and us having this knowledge back is a signal. It signifies that we're at the end. Right? And, and that Yahweh Shai is on his way, us being brought back to remembrance once again. That's right. Yeah. Got some, uh, Ephesians 5 and let's go to 25. It says, Husbands, love your wives even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of the water by the word. There you go. And that's how you're cleansed, man, through the washing of the word. That's how you are uh, spiritually uh, taken out of the rudiments of this filthy, polluted kingdom, man. That's right. You don't, you don't, you don't follow after the, the, the wickedness of this kingdom, man, because the ones that's ruling on high in this kingdom are wicked. And the scriptures talk about, as the ruler, so is the people. Okay, so if the ruler is wicked, then the rest of the people are wicked, man. And you can clearly see that this kingdom is the most wickedest, nastiest, dirtiest, low-life kingdom that has ever existed okay. under the sun, man. That's right. This kingdom, man. This kingdom right here, America, man, which is known as Babylon the Great. That's why the judgment that's coming to this whore, this slut, this wicked kingdom is going to be so great that it's going to be talked about forever, man. That's right. It says that he might present it to himself, glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. That's the elect, man, not because the elect are blameless. They're blameless in the spirit. Okay? And they've been blameless before the foundations of the world, man. But right now, the elect is uh, into this word, man. So though in the flesh they might be going off, but in the spirit, they're pure and, and, they're, and they're righteous. It says, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Yeah, holy without blemish, man. And how do you be holy and without blemish? Ultimately, is if you, if you are found holy and, uh, and unblemished. Uh, uh, by your how about you shy if you go the elect. That's right. Uh, blemish, how you're blemished is uh, um, through sin. You know? And uh, us being uh, unblemished is when Yahweh Shai went on the cross and died for our sins, man, and redeemed Israel back into himself. So, That's right. Yahweh was referenced as a man without blemish because mm -hmm. he was found without sin. So you, you were able to be sacrificed as a perfect sacrifice for Israel. Because you was without sin. Because we go to the law, um, well, we go to the law even with the Passover. You had to sacrifice an animal. It had to be without blemish. 
That's right. why I mentioned like the Yahweh Shadows at Passover. What, that, what does that mean? Yahweh Shadows at Passover. Now, when he says the Passover, the Passover, matter of fact, get it. Yahweh Shadows Passover. Not you, you can go back to speak. Somebody find that. Google it. Yahweh Shadows Passover. Because when we talk about the Passover, we're talking about the, the lamb, the sacrificial lamb for the Passover. So Yahweh Shadows, he was that sacrificial lamb. Anybody find it? Yeah. yeah, I think I got it. All right, go ahead. First uh, Corinthians 5 and, uh, and 7, it says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened, for ye have shy our Passover is sacrificed for us. That's right. So, so read that part again. It says, uh, First Corinthians 5 and 7, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. Now, it rep we represent um, as being a new lump. Other words, as being dope. And um, the leaven represents sin and wickedness. That's what it says. The little leaven leavens the whole lump. Other words, mm -hmm. a little bit of sin, mm -hmm. you know, it, it defiles your whole body. Right. You know? Lord said, one man, once a man offended one law, yeah. he breaks all the laws. That's right. So it said, cast out the old leaven, meaning, you know, you make adjustments, adjustments within your life. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. It says, as ye are unleavened, for your house shine. In other words, we're pure, we're perfect. Are we perfect to the law? No, we can't keep the law 100%. What will make us perfect or unleavened is to our faith we have in your house shine. That's right. right. Somebody get Romans 8. And it says, for even your house shine, our Passover is sacrificed for us. The Passover is talking about the lamb. So your house shine was that Passover, or the lamb, for us. Okay. Yep. And it says, therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness. So now we know what the leaven is talking about. It's talking about wickedness. Right? Then the scripture but, break down itself. Right? But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's about that. Now let's go to Romans 8. Uh, Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore not now no condemnation to them that are in Hamashiach Yahushua. Now let's break down condemnation. Now the word condemnation means to be sentenced to punishment. So it says there's no condemnation to them that are in Yahusha. So the ones that believe in Yahusha, we won't be sentenced to punishment for the for the sins we commit. Cause we always go, we always gonna commit sin unwillingly. You know, uh, we mess up all the time. Yeah. It's not right. talking about a person that go ahead and sin. They know they're doing it wrong, but they do it anyway. They're not yeah. talking about that person. And that person that, that's doing that, the most uh, you know, you're gonna take them out of there. That's most right. Most are gonna judge them. But it's talking about a man that's sincere, he makes a mistake, he go off, and that's why I'm saying there's no condemnation to him. Most of gonna have mercy on him. Go ahead, because that man trying to do the right thing. That's right. Go ahead. It says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that that which, no, oh, to them sorry. which are in Hamasya and Yahweh's God. It says, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life, wait, for the law of the, the word, spirit. And it yeah. says we don't walk after the um, flesh, but after the spirit. Because um, a person that's after the flesh, that's a person that, you know, that lived through the lust. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we get the word carnal. The word carnal, the Bible's the Latin word carne, that means flesh. So that's a person that act off the flesh. You know, if you get a temptation or lust, you act on it. That's so right. A person, they need to see something with the eyes, touch it, make sure it's dead. That's a carnal person, or meaning they're of the flesh. Okay? It says, for the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach, Yahweh has made... the law of spirit of life. That's talking about the faith, the law of faith. Okay? It said, have made me free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. For what the law... That's what made... That's what make us, um... Um... Not being condemned. That's what it says it's on condemnation. The word condemnation means condemned. So read that part again. Uh from the top or that part three? says the law for the law. Oh yeah, uh, Romans eight and three. For what the law could not no, do. No, no, no. It said the law has made me free. Oh, oh, Romans eight and two. For the law of the spirit of life and Hamashiach Yahweh have made me free from the law of sin and death. So it's our faith of the Lord is what's freeing us. Matter of fact, hold that. Um, get on um, 
Um, hold that. Um, get Romans 6 and 23 real quick. Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. Now, it says for the wages.